if you are a little bit anxious, no matter what you do in your life, the anxious is very difficult to go away. Like if you win the lottery, maybe 80 million US dollars, you will be happy for a few months, but then after that you come back to the baseline. Or good salary, good for a few months, but come back to the baseline. So baseline is very difficult to change. So then people practice like watch the breathing awareness, as I mentioned before, watch breathing in, breathing out. Like breathing meditation. Actually, the baseline can change. Even when they are not meditating, they have become happier. Everybody want to be happy or not? Yes, we all want to be happy. So now there's two choices. Winning 80 million US dollar or watching boring and stupid breathing. <laughs> okay, so before we start this episode, two quick reminders. First of all, the excitement is because I just finished the episode and it was top three favorite interviews of all time. Number one, uh, we have a Patreon to support more face-to-face -face conversations. So to travel, to meet the guests, to pay for the equipment, the editors, and all the rest. So if you could support us in a small or big way, I would appreciate it so much. Click the link below. If not, that's point number two, I would still love you to have access to our free exclusive. It's not free usually, but I want you to have access to it, to our exclusive community on Discord. Well, where you'll have all the perks of Patreon. So asking the guest questions, um, getting to know guests in advance, interacting and talking about the subjects we aborted in the conversation. I want you guys to have access to it, right? Because I believe this is a shared learning experience. And yeah, if you can support on Patreon, support. If not, then I still want you to have access to it because I love sharing this journey with someone and having us all together would be so cool. So why not? Um, yeah, enjoy the episode. Much love. What is happiness? Yeah. So what is happiness? I, I, I've been looking at that question for many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to understand the happiness, we need to understand the opposite of the, the happiness. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we can call it suffering or not happy. So that feeling of not happy or suffering is some kind of like deeper level in our mind, the sense of incompleteness mm. sometimes, or sense of hollow, empty, or some people sense of insecurity or not satisfying. And that hollow or incompleteness feeling is behind our thought, behind our emotion. Then what we do in our life, try to feel that hollow or incompleteness. Maybe coffee, drink coffee, good for 20 minutes, become empty again. Or maybe money, for temporary, it feels become empty. Power, uh, fame, friends, family. But the, the hollow is like what we call bottomless bag. Bag without bottom, it feels a little bit, become empty again. So then we think, oh, in the, um, in the, with the friends, you feel happy, but after a certain level, oh, so noisy. Uh, so many. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to my home. I need alone. So you come back home. <sighs> Relax. And after five, five minutes later, oh, I feel lonely. I, I need to do something. Should I call? <laughs> <laughs> so then how we can feel that empty? So normally what we call if we connect with our innate quality, our heart, then that empty become more and more filled. So what are these innate qualities? Awareness, awareness meaning the, the knowing, the special quality of the mind, sometimes what we call lucidity or knowingness. So that, that is awareness. Second, love and compassion. Mm. Third, wisdom. So these three, for example, 
if you try to help others, if you do social work, you really feel happy, deeper level. You feel like, mm, I think that is me. And you feel like something is right or content like that. Mm -hmm. But if you follow that opposite of love and compassion, like selfish driven, even you become success, you feel like something missing. Something is not right. Yeah. These three things, if we connect, then we feel like real happiness, that contentment, that completeness, that warmness comes inside. That is beautiful. Because um, a lot of us follow what is called shallow happiness, which means the it goes away very fast. It's a bottomless bag, like you said. You're talking about more of a deeper happiness that comes from our innate from our soul yes, yes. that's beautiful right. yeah so like for example i've been discussed with a lot of scientists and the, what they call baseline so everybody has some kind of baseline if you are a little bit anxious no matter what you do in your life the anxious is very difficult to go away like if you win the lottery maybe 80 million US dollar, you will be happy for a few months, but then after that, you come back to the baseline. Or oh, good salary, good for a few months, but come back to the baseline. So baseline is very difficult to change. But, so then people practice like, watch the breathing awareness, as I mentioned before, watch breathing in, breathing out, like breathing meditation. Actually, baseline can change. Even when they are not meditating, they have become happier. So then I make job. Everybody want to be happy or not? Yes, we all want to be happy. So now there's true choice. Winning 80 million US dollar or watching boring and stupid breathing. <laughs> so which one we choose? <laughs> of course, we think winning lottery is better, right? Recently I've I want to I want to jump to the the third question, but before the the third question is how to let go of things that kill our happiness. And you mentioned a few, but before um, I want to add to your point, you talked about the lottery winning eighty million dollar, and a lot of people are chasing these things. But I want you to talk more about your spiritual awakening and what you experience within from the richness that's not outside but inside. What did you find there? Yes. So in my tradition, what we call, we all have this innate goodness. So what we call basic innate goodness. Mm -hmm. So everybody has this uh, potential or a capacity to mm -hmm. discover our innate qualities. And this innate quality, as I mentioned before, three things awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, three together. So the more we discover these innate qualities, then we feel more really happy, not happiness like drinking coffee or winning lottery or he he like high, that kind of happiness is shallow happiness. Mm -hmm. But if you feel really deeply satisfying, feeling of really complete and warm, and that is the lasting happiness. And of course, I'm not saying if you win the lottery, why not enjoy that? No problem. That's the uh, good. But if we only seeking the happiness on the material thing, then we our happiness become like stock market, always go up and down. <laughs> our happiness becomes like the stock market. Um, okay, so... I want to jump into how to let go of things. The, the number one thing for you that causes unhappiness and how to let go of it. So this is a question by Mad HV. Letting go meaning, so there are two things. One is letting go, another is giving up. So letting go and giving up is two different things. So when I was young, I had panic attacks and sometimes I feel really um, sad and depressed. 
And then my father said, because I learned meditation from my father. And he said, if you're going somewhere, if you reach the dead end, the road is end and huge wall in front of you, what should we do? And my father said, first, take out your backpack and throw, throw the other side of the wall. <laughs> so then once your backpack is other side of the wall, sometimes we awake our innate qualities sometimes. So then maybe we will think out of box. So to cross that wall, you don't need to just face your, your head, bump on the wall, I need to cross, I need to cross, that doesn't work. And you cannot cross that one. Maybe impossible. You have to accept that one. But don't give up. Maybe you just bring staircase. Uh, just climb and then put the other side and you can cross. Or with a rope, you can cross. Or like rope climbing style. Or you go to right side or left side detour. Mm. Maybe so many possibilities there in our life. What we call life is like wave of the ocean. It changes. So what we call impermanence, life is changed, impermanent. Impermanent means full of possibility, opportunity, it changes. So we need to accept it's impermanent, it changes. So when we accept that, then we will see different possibilities, different uh, doorways. So that is what we call letting go. But don't give up. You can use your skill, wisdom, capacity, try your best. But your mind don't too tight on the result. I do have a question before I jump into how to cultivate more Buddha nature, which I love and you talk about a lot. Um, I want to jump into some problems, some resentment feelings, residues of resentment that I have for my father. Um, so we've always had a love and hate relationship. He's been the general, me the soldier, and directing me. And I want to ask you, based on your experience, how do you cultivate a heart of compassion for someone that that might be tough or that might not even have the ability to feel compassion? Yes. So... The Buddha nature meaning this basic goodness. So everybody by nature is pure, is wholesome. So by nature, everybody has awareness, love and compassion, wisdom. We need to discover it. So maybe I will tell you one story. So one time me and my father, we are having dinner together. Mm -hmm. There's a group of people came to my father that they want to learn meditation and there's a two men so they're fighting each other and one time in the evening they're fighting outside and one of the men suddenly came while we're having dinner and the man asked my father i really hate the other person and we fight each other and we beat each other so now please tell me how to control my anger and my father listened carefully and he asked why are you angry at him and the man said because he said bad things about me he uh, beat me so i'm angry and my father said oh the one who really harmed to you is the word and the stick so you should angry at the stick and the word and the person said, <laughs> I'm not stupid. I will not angry at the stick and the word because he's controlling the stick, the word. The stick and word, they don't have control. And my father said, okay, 
then maybe you should angry at his emotion because he's out of control by anger just like you you come to me that you want to control your anger and you cannot control right he said yes of course and he also said he might have the anger he might have ignorance he might have pride jealousy when we have these things even the deeper level we want to be nice we want to be good we want to be kind but then when these circumstances comes together and then this strong emotion comes we have become out of control and then this guy said mm, that's true i never thought of that before <laughs> so his face a little bit changed so normally we make separate so if we have difficult person the by nature of that person nobody thinks i want to be mean i want to be bad person by mm -hmm. nature, everybody try their best to pursue virtue, meaningful. But then circumstances, maybe habit, maybe the lot of uh, clashes, this emotion comes. So if you understand, you separate, and we try to communicate with the basic goodness aspect. After a certain level, you will find awareness there, compassion there, love is there, and maybe wisdom is there. And if you connect with more with that, then in the end, you will see these things manifest more and more and more. Okay, so you will see the basic goodness that is inside of you, also inside the other person. Yes. Okay. Exactly. I, I love this. I love this. Okay, so um, before I jump into Buddha nature, and I love the Buddha, I have I have like two, three statues I keep always next to me, a Buddha laughing, the, the laughing one, to always remind me to talk, not take things seriously, and a Buddha meditating, relaxed under the tree. So I want to ask you a question. Um, you talk about the wholeness. My question for you is how to develop constant connection to that goodness within because sometimes you feel it a lot like i feel it now sometimes it's less than others others it's more sometimes it goes away sometimes it... <laughs> so how there's a few ways one way is um mainly three ways three things one through mindset so mindset people view mm -hmm. so we need to recognize this the, the quality of Buddha nature, awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, mm. just recognize that. For example, can you see my hand? Yes. You can hear? Yes. That is the awareness. Mm. That is the quality of our mind. Our mind has what we call lucidity or cognizing. You can feel something in your body, right? Mm -hmm. You can think, you can feel. So these thought, emotion, perception is based on that clarity, knowingness. So that's what we call awareness. Mm -hmm. The essence of awareness is very difficult to grab by concept, but you can grab thought, you can grab feeling, you can see the image, you can hear the sound. So that's the awareness on something. And second, love and compassion. So maybe may, some of you watching this video, why are you watching this video? You want to be happy, happiness, looking for happiness, don't want the suffering, is love and compassion. And that is with us all the time. Each I our eyes blinking, each blink is looking for happiness mm. to avoid each breathing is looking for happiness to avoid discomfort. Each movement while you're watching this video, maybe you will watch this way. Maybe you will watch this way. If you watch this way for a long time, feel uncomfortable, maybe like this. <laughs> Entire our being is looking for happiness, don't want to suffer. 
So looking for happiness, actually love. Love meaning something happy, something meaningful, something virtuous, something good. Compassion meaning wanting to free from suffering, problem. So that is with us all the time. So we have awareness all the time. Mm -hmm. We have love and compassion all the time, mm -hmm. which is the question. Without question, you cannot come here. Without interest, you cannot come here. So these are always there. And then when we try to recognize that, that's the view. Recogni recognize the mindset, believe. Second, meditation, meaning being with awareness, being with love and compassion, being mind, not thinking mind, not doing mind, being mind. So being with love, compassion, wisdom, second thing. Number three, application. Now we need to apply in everyday life with the problems. So I apply this with my panic attacks. So we can apply with the, any situation because love, compassion, awareness always manifest. You can use anything. Like if you see, now I'm seeing this pen, mm -hmm. awareness, even just looking at pen, there's some interest question and maybe I feel happy or not happy. There's some sensation. The purpose of looking of pain, maybe there's some looking for happiness and to avoid suffering. So love and compassion, wisdom, awareness, all three here. Right. Um, I'm just internalizing and I'm going to leave the audience some time to internalize this for five seconds. And Till I jump to the next question, which is basically, um, so we talked about everything, stress, anger, resentment, anxiety, everything. I want to jump more into your wandering retreat. So you talked that once you had to let you succeeded with Joyful Living, the book, and it started growing your spiritual retreats and, and your talks, and you felt there was a bit of ego that was building so can you guide us through the story there and what you learned from it yes so i did the wandering retreat that i just walked out from my uh, social circle without much money and no plan so actually we have this style of wandering retreat style so when i was young i uh, my mother used to read a bedtime story Mm -hmm. And these stories are the great meditators in the past. So they were in the mountain village and um, they, all, they were practicing letting go or they were helping many people through awareness, compassion, and wisdom. So I hear this story a lot. So I want to do this letting go practice. And I have this interest, but then since 2000, I was teaching meditation many places around the world because meditation really helps. Like I have this panic attacks and through the meditation, my panic attacks become my friend, my teacher, although it's not so easy. It took me five years. And I think this really benefit for many people. So then I wrote a book, Joy of Living become the bestseller and then many people really got benefit i have many students and i um, become very famous then i have a little bit pride you know so i thought mm, now good time to go to a wandering retreat <laughs> <laughs> and that wandering retreat what did it teach you about your yourself so through the wandering retreat i learned three important things one about the life. Actually, um, when I go out of my cocoon, my comfort zone, everything I have to start from zero to survive, to organize, to live life continued. <laughs> so I learned a lot about life. And second, for me, the purpose is what we call adding wood to the fire meaning to enhance the meditation awareness love and compassion wisdom interacting with the obstacles 
problems, challenge. And these things are really helps to um, become increase about the recognition of awareness, to develop the experience of what we call transformation. Poison become medicine, obstacle become opportunity, suffering become happiness. So like when there's a fire, at the beginning, you have to have protection with the very safe place. You have to have fire. Then after a certain level, open and let wind come and then big wood. So the more wood is better, fire become bigger. So obstacles, challenge, problems really helps to the, the, the practice. So that's the second thing I learned. I love this so much. So the suffering adds wood to your enlightenment. Yeah, right. Something okay. like that. That's a perspective shift in, 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 in people. So when they have a problem, they ask themselves, okay, how is this helping me grow? Yes, yes. So normally, challenge, suffering, problem, really good. And these, if we take it as a learning process, if we take it as um, to grow ourselves, the problem is one of the best to enhance. We can learn a lot. We grow a lot. And actually, the problem can become solution. And so the anxiety, the anger that I, the little anger that I feel for my mother, the resentment, the bit, bit of resentment for my father are all learning opportunities for my happiness. Yes, yes, exactly. But you will fail at the beginning. You will fail a lot. <laughs> what we call the more you fail, actually the better. You're learning more. So don't be afraid of being failure. Be patient. But you try again. Don't give up. Try again. Try again. Try again. Then you will learn a lot for this process. And so here you said accept failure. Usually the, the innate reaction is shame. So yeah. what do you think? Failure is good. <laughs> Don't give up, but learn from failure. Failure is teacher. Failure is friend. Failure is friend. Okay. I love this so much. Um, I want to jump into practical meditation techniques that people can take away from with them. So you, you've ever been to, the, to, to a drive through at, um, at a place to pick food? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So the simple... Uh, instruction is um, maybe you can try what we call breathing meditation. Mm -hmm. so do you, are you breathing now? I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without breathing, you cannot listen to this broadcast. Yeah. So when I ask you, are you breathing now? In that moment, your mind is with the breath. So that is the meditation, very easy. Mind and the breath together. Mm -hmm. So awareness is with the breath. So then you just breathing in, breathing out, maybe one minute, two minutes. At the beginning, no need a lot. Maybe five minutes per day really helps, but the try to do every day. Second thing is, as I mentioned before, recite something in the mind, what we call mental recitation. So you can just come up a sentence, I'm fine, everything fine, recite that in your mind. So if you have any relig religious background, you have pray, you can use that pray in the mind, you can do the silently. So that will be the second one. So maybe these two can be the first step. Before we jump into, I want to cover walking meditation and working, how to still be in a peaceful state whilst working, which is something that I am learning to do, trying. Um, I want to cover, you talked about a lot of people struggle with meditation because they struggle to stick with it. So you said in a, a TED talk, I think, that you used to struggle with laziness. So what's your advice for someone that wants to practice this uh, and make this a habit? As I mentioned before, 
awareness with us 24 hours even we are not happy or happy or dull or clear we lost not lost doesn't matter all these are the essence of all this is awareness so therefore if we recognize awareness meaning we recognize knowing we have this consciousness knowing then we can try to maintain that knowingness with anything so what we call we can meditate anytime everywhere with anything so if you walk you can be with the sensation in your body or your your feet are moving or the temperature in the body or the gravity in our body so there's so many things that you can just to be aware of it mm. or if you are walking i don't know what kind of work we do maybe typing mm -hmm. uh, see something be aware a little bit you hear something you can listen or if you're cooking you cut the vegetables you can see the piece mm -hmm. you can hear the sound you can smell be with the smell when you eat food be with the taste so whatever phenomena comes to you be with that few seconds few seconds few seconds okay so when you work mindfully work when you eat mindfully eat etc yes perfect okay um you talked about religions and recently meditation has been a big part in my life and it helped me so much to find peace okay and people say meditation is used to empty and then to fill then the goodness do you i, I don't know why this popped pop, question popped to mind but i want to ask it to you do you believe in Jesus or experienced him in your life? I mean, there's so many great beings come to the world mm -hmm. and everybody has a lot of nice messages. So for us, we believe everybody has a wonderful nature. And when we try to connect with them, everybody has wonderful messages also. So for me, like everybody's a Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love yes. this. Yeah. Um, okay, so I want to cover um, the thing that really interests me here is that there's a question from one of our listeners that was, no one should be happy all the time. No one should be sad all the time either. It's all a state of mind. Um, it's by Harsh, uh, Harsh Shith. Um, what do you think about that? So the shallow happiness or the surface level of happiness cannot maintain too long normally. Mm. It, it will change. It's, by nature, it will change. Yep. Or suffering also may not, may not be forever. Suffering also will change. Mm -hmm. So these are interdependent. Without that happiness, you don't feel suffering. Without that suffering, you don't feel happiness. There's a surface level, but the deeper level, that completeness, warmness, contentment can be all the time. And that's the Buddha nature that you talk about. Yes, Buddha nature, we can call it a Buddha nature or basic innate goodness or our pure nature or true nature, same meaning. <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, before we end this, I want to try, if you would be willing, a meditation with you uh, yes. uh, to guide us through a, a short meditation for uh, you talked about awareness, loving compassion and wisdom. Can you pick your favorite and we'll go through it? Yeah, maybe we will do awareness. Okay. So maybe first just feel your body, just relax your, your body and relax muscles in the body and just feel maybe gravity in your body or the room temperature or the grounding sensation on your body on the chair on the cushion so just mind and body together and 
relax, muscles. And again, if you cannot relax, also okay. Give permission that you cannot relax. For the awareness, relax, no relax, doesn't matter. Awareness with us all the time. Then, maybe to be aware of your breath. You're breathing in, breathing out. Natural breathing, relax. And mind and breath together. And maybe you hear something. I hear bird are singing or traffic or people are chatting. Doesn't matter what kind of sound, just listen. Be with that. And then appreciate that I'm still alive wonderful and I have senses I can hear smell I can feel I can see wonderful and special I have this awareness love and compassion and wisdom with me all the time wonderful Now, wish that my meditation may cause to help my fa family members, friends, my colleagues. May all of them happy and may all of them free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Um, so usually I like to finish interviews with a game. And so today you can either choose one of two games. Game number mm -hmm. one is an improv game where I will say a statement I will, and you will say and and follow it and I will try to follow it. That's game number mm -hmm. one. Or game number two, it's rapid fire uh, one word answers to questions. So which one would you like? Game number one? Number one. Okay, let's do it. Um, I woke up today and meditated. Mm -mm. And I feel very happy and appreciated. And I give that appreciation to others. Yes. And I give it to others and I received it. And again, continue to give it to my daily life begins to my colleagues, friends family members and I feel more and more happy and in the end end of the day I reflect my life and appreciate about the people who help me my friends my family and appreciate myself and oof. <laughs> usually it ends like this it ends <laughs> you don't have any answer no more <laughs> So yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> yeah, and all is well. Everything goes well. Um yeah. so yeah, Ming, you're you're a joy, a, a light in this world. And especially now people need to hear your wisdom and the light that you bring. And so I thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. And I'm really appreciate what you're doing. Uh sending this wonderful message positive message for everybody and to help for harmony, peace, happiness. Wonderful. That's amazing. I, I want to give to give you the platform to um, promote anything you have coming up. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, the normally I just teach about these three things, awareness, love and compassion, wisdom, and 
we have um, some time online courses, teachings. So I practice that and I teach that. That's that's all I do. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put all the links um, below so people can check them out. Um, to end this on a fun note, uh, with one last uh sentence we can end it with a joke and then this will be the end of the episode so yes. you 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 want to try a joke and i'll i'll try a joke on you hmm. so um i have one special uh teaching that if you practice this particular teaching you will become enlightened within three days. Do you want to try? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try one joke on you. I want okay. you, please, Mingyur, um, to not think about pizza. Please <laughs> don't think about pizza. Yes. No, no pizza. Pizza. No, pizza. No. no pizza. <laughs> no, no cheese pizza. Cheese pizza with pepperoni and 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 the crust is. <laughs> no tomato pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure, Mingyur. Thank you so 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 much. Most pleasure. welcome. Thank you. Bro, what a conversation. It's crazy. Um, just before we end this episode, I want to tell you, I put so much effort and time to make these the best interviews they could be. And I would love to make these interviews live. But in order to do that, I need your support. Uh, whether that's in a small or big way, or big way, you can help us on Patreon. And still, if you can't help, I fully uh, I have nothing against it but I would love for you to join uh, either way our discord so you can join us there and you'll have the access to all the perks that's if you're not able to to support us and then I would love to have you there also so thank you for being part of this episode and I will see you next week for a new episode um, that will hopefully create more and more happiness in your life so see you next Sunday at 12 5 a.m eastern 12 p.m um, gmt plus three <laughs> so yeah much love it's been your boy ig bye ciao